All right, guys, we're back. Let's test some speed here. Let's start out with uh, some stalkers that I know aren't going to do too well. These are very lightweight uh, Cheerios edition uh, 43 stalkers that you'd get maybe back in the early 2000s, maybe late 90s. We're going to run them together. Actually, I'm going to run them one at a time. Let's just see what it does. Probably be one and done for both. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, 2119. That's not going to get you anywhere, even in the lightest ranks. Let's run the other one. Oh, they're still running for a quarter. You know, they are what they are. They're going in the heap. I don't have a shelf. I have a heap. <laughs> All right, next up. Let's try this Bully Goat. This Bully Goat, um, really, really good wheels. I mean, they are not FTE wheels, but they're the open hole fives, and they work really, really well. Let's get him in the rack. Let's see what the Bully Goat has. Not much. <laughs> About as slow as the Cheerios. One and done at a 21.13. Get you one more look at him. For a quarter, sure, worth a shot. Any more than that, walk on by. Yeah, let's give this Formula Solar a shot. We definitely know they're in 30 and unders. If it's not under 2080s, I'm not interested. Not interested. That is with graphite. 2106. To the heap it goes. Next up. These uh, 97 Corvettes. I never saw one in yellow. Never saw one with the three spoke silvers. Works well. Does it run well? 31 to 40 plastics, 97 vet. Putrid. Loud, putrid, and slow. Walk on by to the heap it goes. This one's going quick. How about it? Uh, plastic bottom, blue, red line, sidekick. These fall in the 41 to 50 plastic. Let's line them up. See what he's got. That looked pretty good. That's pretty good. 59. That's going to be competitive for the ranks. Let's try them one more time uh, down that same lane. Hot lap two. Not as fast, I don't think. 2060. Let's give them a shot. Uh, we'll, we'll run all of these first, and we'll, uh, we'll match them up in the ranks. So we'll be right back with the next car. Got our sidekick there waiting. This is a ballistic. I do chase these a little bit, especially when they're for a quarter. <laughs> Can't beat it. Uh, the wheels on this one are the best wheels of a ballistic I've ever seen. And uh, these Y5s usually can get it done when they're all four good. These all four are good. Now that we've talked it up, I'm sure it's going to run like 2386. <laughs> Here we go. Run number one. Not sure. 80s. 2076. I'll go switch it up this time. See what he's got in the right lane. Hot lap two. Good start. 71. Interesting. It's going to be in how he matches up with that split decision, but I think he deserves a shot. So we'll put him aside. And next up, 
talking to Brandon about a fast fish. I showed you one in the last video. I knew I had two of these, and I did. I found two carded ones of these, and I broke open the worst card. So here we have a metal bottom, fast fish, FTE wheels. They are butter. They are butter. So let's get them in the rack. Run them down that right lane first. See if we can clock a nice time with the fast fish FTE. That was okay. Looked like it was uh, not a straight run. 2067 for not a straight run is pretty interesting to me. Let's switch lanes and see if we can get a nice run out of him. Slower in a better lane. 2080. Last but not least for the speed trials are these guys. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to save these for another video, and these will be the bonus. For here, this will be the last uh, open car I'm going to run, and this guy here is going to be the bonus for this race. So I'll be splitting up the cars that you see into a couple of videos, and hope we can see some speed here. This is the FTE, <laughs> uh, way too fast. Inspired by DXP Diecast Racing. Um, this guy I did have open before. Did a rework on him. I'm pretty happy with the wheels. Haven't ran him down the track. Let's see if we can get it under 2050 here with this guy. 41 to 50 metal. <laughs> I called 2050. Well, he ran 2050. I want to see under that. Let's see if we can switch lanes. And I'm going to keep him in that lane. Let's see if we can get him under 2050. Hot lap two. So quiet. 49. Interesting. Depends on how he's going to do when he's facing some air in a matchup. So we'll give him a try in the ranks. Be right back. And we're going to run our bonus car first before we do the ranked uh, competition. All right, we see four cars out of this uh, pile that we ran that are going to have a shot at the ranks. I'm not sure who's going to going to get in. I don't know that anyone is. But we're going to give it a shot. Right now, we have one that I've been really waiting for. These cars have all kind of potential. If you get a freak, get on your knees and thank God. You might get one that's pretty damn fast, but not elite. Or you might get one that sucks. Seems like they fall into one of three categories. There's no like real range or mid-range. It's either crazy, decent, or horrible. We're going to find out here. By the way, this is the Fast and Furious Mattel Roadrunner, 1970 Roadrunner. Let's get him in the rack. Comes fresh from a three pack. And this is probably going to be a decent one, not elite. 40. Let's go ahead and switch lanes. See what he's got. Hot lap two. Not bad. Before we get to it, in comparison, my number five car is that Fast and Furious Roadrunner. It's faster than the three Mustangs that I have. One Mustang I have is all dusted. The other Mustang I have is all liquefied. And the other one has liquid on the back, dust on the front. This is my number five Roadrunner, all dust. And I'll show you what he does in single lane right now. We'll go one more time.
23 and 29. So depending on the break in, 20-35 is not a bad time. We have a wind splitter as a gatekeeper. We're going to run him up against this Roadrunner. See if the Roadrunner is worthy of the top 24. Or if we have to go back in the weight cases. Roadrunner is in lane one. This BMW M1 wind splitter. Hong Kong baby. Lane two. Be a good race. That'd be the Roadrunner by a hair. Oh, maybe not a hair. Wow. That didn't look <laughs> like that big of a beat, but it sure was. 31 to 40. Gotta love it. Let's switch it up. The Roadrunner with a 9 one thousandths advantage over the Gatekeeper. Let's see it. Here we go. Race 2. All Roadrunner. 39 to 42. Top 24 just got faster. All right. That wind splitter did retain that number one spot in the 41 to 50 medal. So he sits number one in the weight class. And in our top 24, we'll move that Roadrunner up a row against this monster Solaire. Metal bottom, blue Solaire. Goes around 60 grams. I don't have my big scale out. And I'm still waiting for my little one from China, which is due, oh, in about two and a half months. <laughs> Solaire. Lane one. Fast and Furious Roadrunner, trying to get to the number 21 spot, lane two. Good start. Solaire runs 2037. Fast and Furious Roadrunner, 2032. Lanes are switched. Roadrunner with a 5 one thousandths advantage. Roadrunner takes him. 35 to 40. He moves on. We're going to move him up two rows. We're going to put him against my fastest Mustang. This is the one that is dusted. He sits at number 15. Okay. The Mustang is somewhere in the low 60s in terms of weight. The Roadrunner is in the high 50s. For the number 15 spot. Mustang. 2034 to 2038. We will switch it up. Race 2. Good start, Mustang. Get him, got him again. Four one thousandths in the first race. Three one thousandths in this race. Thirty nine to forty two. Fast and Furious Roadrunner drops a row, challenging the number eighteen Mercedes AMG five hundred. Starburst wheels. I don't think they were laser. I have one laser somewhere. <laughs> Here we go. It's all AMG there. 42 to 44. Horrible times. Let's switch it up. Two refrigerators going down the track, throwing bad air. Three one thousandths advantage for the AMG. Good start. All AMG went right around them. Better times for the AMG. 29 to 38 for the Roadrunner. Well, he's going in this row. Let's go ahead and put him up against this front-running Fairmont and see if he is going to be in 20th, 21st, I'm sorry, 19th, 20th, or 21st place. The 19th-ranked Fairmont 
in the far lane, Roadrunner in the near lane. Good start by both. Fairmont gets them by two one thousands, thirty seven to thirty nine. Switch lanes. Two one thousandths advantage for the front running Fairmont. Good start. Two one thousandths beat there. Got to run them again. Round two of this race. Race one. That is all. Fast and Furious Roadrunner by four one thousandths. Let's switch lanes. All right, guys, here we go. Race two, four one thousandths advantage for the Roadrunner. That time it was the Fairmont that he get him by four. No, he did not. So the Roadrunner takes over the 19th spot in the ranks. Gotta love the change when new speed comes in. This Fast and Furious Roadrunner was real deal. Sits in the uh, 19th spot overall. Can't hate that. We're going to do one last thing, guys. We're going to do some single lane runs of the mystery car. The black Camaro. <laughs> we had a 2028 single run last time out. We were able to rework him, bring him back to speed, and he certainly was looking good. Um, he didn't even look too bad before the reworks. I haven't touched him today, so I mean, this track is running really, really different. I may do a little touch up depending on what he runs here, but let's just see what he does right, on, right out of the box. Here we go. Horrible start. <laughs> Wiggled in the start. It's probably high 2030s. 2035, not bad. Let's try him one more time. Hot lap two. Better start. And put a spacer in, so we'll check it together here. 35 in the first run. 33 in the second. He's moving. Let's try him in the top 24. I haven't uh, done this. I've been holding off doing it uh, because I knew maybe, maybe someday I used to send him away. He's not going to get sent away anymore. <laughs> if you all want him, here he is. Let's grab a chunk out of him here. So right now, we're going to try him up against... This fast and furious Mustang. He is the gatekeeper. And we've got a 40 gram blown Camaro that was embarrassed in Tennessee. <laughs> Just did not like that track, but I believe in him here. So let's see what happens against a fast and furious Mustang, 24th in the ranks. Good start. It's all Mustang there. 34 to 41. Switch it up. Seven one thousandths advantage for the Mustang. It's a good start. A time a little closer. 34 for the Mustang. 38 for the Black Camaro. He stays the number one car in the 31 to 40s. Not a bad showing there against cars. Oh, about 20 plus grams more than him. We'll do one last thing just for giggles. We'll get out the blue Camaro. I haven't really matched them up since they've been back. I've done the single lane runs and that is it. So my number one black Camaro is in lane one in the far lane. The blue blown Camaro. Race one. Good start. Blue ooh, blue one got past. He was out, but 38 to 40. Pretty good time, so let's switch it up. Two one thousandths advantage for the black Camaro. Good start by both. Black Camaro all day. That blue one can never beat it. Never ever beat it. 41 to 45. He retains the number one spot. Guys, I thank you. And that is it. We have one more video. Be a little shorter video. We got four cars to feature for you. And I'm excited to do that. But for right now, 
I'm just going to put these two guys right back where they belong. Number two spot in the 41 to 31 to 40 metal. And the number one spot. 31 to 40 metal. All right, guys. Peace and out. Catch you soon.